Welcome to WCSN's coverage of ASU women's basketball. Alongside Zach Poklev, I'm Katie Verge. The ASU women found out yesterday they're going dancing, and a little birdie told me that you were there during this selection show. The little birdie was you. But uh, <laughs> how do the women feel after being chosen to be in the tournament? Well, they're ecstatic. This team is very young. There's a lot of freshmen and sophomores, and the only players that have NCAA tournament experience are Deja Mann, Joy Burke, and Adrian Thomas. And even those players hadn't gotten much minute, many minutes when they did play in 2011. But Coach Charlie Turner Thorne was just very proud of this team, the way they kind of fought through adversity and really played with the underdog mentality for much of the season. And she was telling me that this break that they've had with uh, losing early to USC and haven't had played a game since, that they've been able to nurse some nagging injuries that have hindered them, and they've been able to you know, find that offensive flow that kind of was absolutely gone during the end of the conference season. So because of that break, they felt very confident in themselves. All right, that sounds promising. <laughs> they faced the Vanderbilt Commodores. Now, this is a pretty good team, but what can you tell me about them? Any details? Well, this team is pretty similar to uh, ASU in the way they started their season. They started out 12-1, and one, went to number, number 16 in the national polls, but once conference season hit, they kind of faltered. They lost uh, Rebecca Zalman, their, their freshman star, to a uh, surgery procedure in mid-December, mm -hmm. but they do have talent. They have Christina Foggy, the, the most prolific three-point shooter in this school's history. She's the definition of a sharpshooter. And the way that Vanderbilt plays, they're really a slow it down, possession by possession team. They play solid defense. And so it'll be a really interesting matchup to see with the Sun Devils. I mean, like you're saying, eight and nine right mm -hmm. there, that's going to be tough. What are your predictions for this game? Well, like I said earlier, v Vanderbilt does play slow at down tempo and ASU likes to push the ball when they can, get easy buckets in transition and, and force turnovers. And what's been missing for the, from uh, Sun Devils is that they haven't been converting in the half court. But I think with this break, with this extended resting period, they were able to kind of find that flow, find that confidence, get more into sync uh, on the offensive end. And because of that, I trust what Turner Thorne tells me. She's a very solid coach. And so I'm going to say that they're pull it out. It'll be close, like usual, but I think they'll pull out a victory against the Vanderbilt Commodores. Oh, I hate going against Charlie Turner Thorne's opinion, <laughs> but, but you love going against me. I do, so I might take a more pessimistic route and pick Vanderbilt. However, I don't want to make any predictions. It's, <laughs> it's March Madness. Anything yeah. can happen, and I'll leave it. I'll leave it up to the it's game. Probably best. Yeah, Saturday morning. Don't miss it. That'll do it for WCSN's coverage of ASU women's basketball. For Zach Pocklev, I'm Katie Verge.